I look like the thing that be like. Today I'm gonna be showing you this makeup look. I know you guys have been asking me to recreate the makeup look. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys like it and I hope it's very informative. I tried to make it as informative as I could. And let's get right into this video. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm kind of shook because a lot of you guys were asking me to do my makeup look that I did in my video previously. Well, two videos ago. I didn't know you guys were gonna like it like that. So I'm coming today to actually redo that look. I'm gonna try to do it the best of my ability. Yeah, let's get right into it. It's gonna be like informative video. So maybe I'm gonna talk a lot. Maybe I'm not. I'm not sure. I didn't know if I should put my full foundation routine. So I'm just gonna speed through my foundation routine. I'm gonna show you guys products now, and then I'm gonna just zoom through this part. I'm not really gonna explain too much because I have a lot of makeup videos on my channel. If you want a dedicated foundation routine, comment that down below, and I will definitely make that video. But right now, I feel like I always do the same foundation routine over and over again, so it doesn't make sense. Prime my face with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Put one and a half full pumps in my hand. Alright, and once I do that, I go ahead and I put LA Girl Pro Concealer in Orange Corrector just because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my face. The side of my nose is hurting. Like I'm getting a bump. Now go above that with Hello Halo Highlight in the color Go With The Glow. I put that everywhere that I will put my highlighter because sometimes I don't wear highlighter but I put it everywhere that I would put highlighter. It gives a nice glow. up. I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush to blend that in and I just push it into my skin. This look is very easy to do. So recently I have been doing like a month now. I've been doing a new routine for my hair. So if you guys want to see some natural hair videos, I will make some. Just let me know down below and I will make some for you guys. Okay. And then my face is going to look like this, like crazy. Go with my NARS Radiant Foundation. And this is in the color Marquises. I thought it was Marquise, but it looks like Marquises. I'm going to put two pumps and I also try to put a little bit of the same glow with it. Just a little bit. So it looks like this. Ella Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and I'm going to put that everywhere that I want to be highlighted. I just squeeze it at the back of my hand because this is a better application. I need to get a new Ella Girl Pro Concealer. I had this for way too long and it's probably expired and I don't know. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing a dress. You two better not try to play me. Okay, I like how this is looking. Tart shape tape, just a little bit to brighten up under my eyes and a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Smooth it out so it can blend. Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Earth in everywhere that I want to contour. I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this out. Um, I'm gonna come back because I do this every single time and this is gonna take a while. I 
I feel like this is the most important part because this is the part that everybody likes. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did my eyeshadow. I'm using the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette. Take this shade right here, which is called, I don't know, but it's in the palette. It's the, the bright orange. I'm gonna do one eye, so just rub your brush, your blending brush in it. And I just pat that right in the crease. Your concealer is not creasing. You don't even have to put concealer on, to be honest. Just kind of push the product in and blend. And once you have it at like a height that you like, I'm going to use my contour palette. I'm using the Black Radiance True Complexion Palette. I'm going to use the darkest shade right here. Fluffy flat brush. Pick up that product and basically look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to just push it onto my lid. Cover the whole lid with this color. Pack it until you can't see through it anymore. You can also put some powder down just so there's no fallout. And then I'm just going to take the same blending brush and just blend that brown into the orange. And add some more. Some more brown. You can bring it up a little bit past the crease and just blend that together. Try to not put the orange too much on the lid because as you can see, I'm going to have to go back and put some more brown because you can see the orange underneath the brown. For the look I did, I made sure that there was no orange on the lid so it was just like really brown. Tell me your secret, son, don't keep on. Took a little bit of this and I dragged it under my eye like that, just the tiniest amount. A little bit of the brown. The Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. I'm just going to use this one up here. Tarte Chrome Paints and the color Park Ave Princess. And all I do for this, I just spray a little bit of my setting spray inside of it just to wet it up a bit. Use a small brush so I could get it on here. Yeah, this is definitely what I did. I used it for up here for my brow bone. Okay guys, so I did put it a little bit too high, but that is perfectly fine. You could customize it however you like. In the other video, I kind of put it a little bit, the this a little bit lower, so it wasn't like too much close to my eyebrow, but that's fine for me. The lashes that I use for my bottom lashes are these. You can use any lashes you want. I literally just found these and these were probably ones that, you know, you get in your hair packages sometime. All I do is I literally just take it like so and I pull one of the clusters out. I just pull it out like that. I pull one of the clusters out like this. customize it with some scissors just making sure that I don't cut off my eyelashes so I'm gonna show you guys that and you're gonna need some hair glue because I use hair glue to stick the bottom ones just because regular eyelash glue takes too long and I don't want to sit here holding the lash I'm gonna show you guys what I mean I don't want to sit there holding the lash if you need to you can go ahead and cut this in half I'm gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna use that for the ends of my brow I mean my lashes so you're gonna get your hair glue and you could place your hair glue at the back of anything to be honest so i like using hair glue because it dries faster i'm not using it on my regular um strip lashes i'm just using it for the bottom just because i need the bottom to stay in place really fast and i have a mirror down here that i'm gonna be looking at so i'm gonna take the first one and when i put it on here when i put it i hold it like this i hold it like this so then i could just place it on my eye you need the tiniest amount of glue. You don't need a lot at all. I'm going to dip my lash in the glue. And then I'm just going to like wave like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place that right. And I make sure I use the bottom of the tweezer just to make sure that it's not drooping down or anything and it's aligned with my regular eyelashes. I'm gonna do another one so you guys can see. Just turn it backwards so it's curving like that so I could just place it. So make sure it's curving down just like how your lashes is curving down and hold it this way so it's curving. So you could just rest it down and it's gonna be in alignment with everything. Oh, actually I should have put some mascara on before I did this. Oh wow, okay. 
to remove these lashes just use your um if you oil cleanse your face just use the oil cleanse to rub it off or you can just use your micellar water on a q-tip and it's gonna come off don't pull it out because it's gonna pull your lashes out because this is bonding glue i'm gonna put on the rest of them and just fast forward this part And you don't want to put it too close to your, <laughs> your lash line but you want it to be w like kind of in between where your lash hairs are okay so for this last one this one is one that i just cut so i'm going to show you how i trim it down put a little bit and you see how fast it sticks if you had to do this with the regular lash glue it would take much longer i should have put these underneath my lashes but i clearly wasn't thinking all I do when I put them on, they're long like this one. I just take some small eyebrow scissors, cut it. And I use a brush. That's literally all I do. I should have put them underneath my lashes because they're really noticeable now. Yeah, they look much better underneath the lashes. So I might just have to take these off and redo them. I mean, they're still kind of tacky, so they're not pulling off any lashes. But that's basically how I do the lashes. It's very easy and I don't use no specific band. I mean brand. If you have any old lashes just sitting around, you can use that. It's a matty. Two times two double that. When she walk around, it's a matty. It's a Martin. And this is all I do for these lashes. I would have went in with some mascara before I put those lashes on. But I'm going to try and gently coat my bottom lashes really quickly. I'm going to put them on and then I'll come back on camera. Because you guys basically got the gist of what I do. Because you got me serving my love. And whenever you're around, you got me turn around and show me what I love. I look like the thing that be like, you turn around and see you. My lashes even my lashes seem kind of crooked. And my chestnut lip liner. Next, soft matte lip cream in the color laudanum. This is my favorite lip combo. I always wear this, so yeah. Let me get it over it. I'm gonna put a little bit of Cairo soft matte lip cream as well, just in the middle. You know you back as old as only. I'm gonna put some of my glizzy gloss. And this was the look. I don't think I set my face. I think I added a little bit of highlight, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight Powder in the color. It's just a highlighter powder, it's like a gold. And I'm going to use a little bit just to highlight my face. I'm gonna go do my hair and then I'll come back. I'm not doing my hair in this video. Probably gonna have a separate video showing you guys how I style this hair. I'm gonna go do this hair and then I'll be right back. Alright you guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to leave me a comment down below of some lipsticks so I know that you got to this part in the video. And let me know other makeup looks you would like me to recreate. And also, do not forget to let me know if you guys want me to make a dedicated foundation routine. And I will definitely make that video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. Do not forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you liked it. And I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye!